This Ipsy bag hasn't seen the light of day for years. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a brand, grow your business, and pursue your passion. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. So we just got done with a, an archeological dig of the subscription box closet. All right, you guys, so behind this giant stack of subscription boxes and old advent calendars, um, we have the closet. The closet of dread and doom. Oh, there's also the mystery wheel. So we have the closet and uh, I wanted to try to get into here so we could spice up this unhinged Ipsy and just get one of the ancient Ipsys out so we could see what Ipsy was like from years past. I'm gonna try to get into here so we can fish out just what I like the Ipsy relics out of this closet. Oh my heavens, this closet hasn't seen the light of day in so long. You guys can't tell, but down there in that deep dark abyss, that is where the Ipsys lie. Have we unearthed them? Ah, relics of the past. Oh to uncover this Ipsy here. We have no idea what year it's from, but I know it's not this one. So this little piece of history here, we're gonna say for the very end, and we're gonna see how different it is compared to all of these other ones. In today's episode of Unhinged Ipsy Unboxing, Ipsy bag number one. Some of these will be repeats from the last time that we did an Ipsy Unhinged. Yeah, I'm afraid. Yeah. I've scraped my foot so bad. So bag number one that we're going through today is from December 2022 and it has the little color blocking on it with the orange and the pink and the red. Again, I'm just not getting holiday. I'm not getting winter from these bags, but you know, Ipsy doesn't really put that much thought to things. So. Oh, I have this. Probably because I get a thousand Ipsies. The first thing we have in here is a Hannah Leigh lip balm and I actually really do like this. I keep it by my bedside. And this is in the scent or the flavor Lilacoy and uh, yeah, it's a really nice like creamy smooth lip balm. Tell your budget guys. Stop. You gotta stop doing that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I love you so much. It has a very nice kind of like fruity sweet scent to it, a little bit on the floral side. So yeah, this will go with my lip balm collection, which there are many. I wonder which I have more of, lip balms or subscription boxes? Probably subscription boxes. If I had more lip balms than I did subscription boxes, one, that would be concerning, and two, I would be able to find one when I needed it. All right, next up in here, oh, Ciate London, of course. This is the Wonderland Mascara. I don't think I've ever received this from Ciate before, which is kind of surprising because we get something from Ciate in just about every single box I've ever done. Ooh, okay. I like the fluffiness of the wand. It's got one of those little like thin waist. It has like an hourglass shape to it. But I do like a really nice fluffy wand, so I might like this. Yep, that's mascara. Next up here, I'm seeing a little pink squeezy tube. This is from Ahava, which we used to get stuff from them all the time. This is a hand cream. They always are, but this one is a cactus and pink pepper one. That sounds like really interesting. Definitely a scent combination I've never smelled before. So let's go ahead and sniff it. <laughs> Now, it being from December 2022, I don't know if that's gonna change the scent of it any, but let's give it a sniff. It smells lovely. I don't know if that's what cactuses smell like. It definitely doesn't smell like pepper in any way. I don't know, maybe there's a hint of pepperiness there, a little like tingle of the nostril at the very end. Sorry, you guys, I gave him a bone or two on because he was licking his knee so much, I was afraid he was gonna like lick his skin off. He has skin problems, so he does like scratch and lick a lot, so I gave him a bone, but now you can hear a lot of tromping sounds. I'm very sorry about that. I do like how that smells though. That smells pretty good. And it really absorbs fast. Like my hands don't feel greasy at all, so I like that. And finally, last but not least, we have something here in bubble wrap. This is a tube. Oh, it's a highlight and blush. It's from Sophia and Maybell. Is that how you would say that name? That's just such like an old-fashioned sounding name. I like it. It is a champagne toast highlighter and a bubbly blush. No, okay. I was At first I was like, are you allowed to call a highlight champagne toast? But I'm, I was thinking of the candle from Bath and Body Works. I thought that they were copying the name of the uh, Jaclyn Hill highlight. Ooh, I think those are really lovely colors. A very kind of muted blush and a kind of like a very light golden highlight. I think those are quite pretty. All right, bag number one of 11 is down. Let's see if there's any pertinent information. Of course not. Oh, I can't count apparently or see because there's something else in here. Maybe it's just cause it's so small and <laughs> I almost missed it. There's something here we have a Yenza concealer. This is a super serum silk concealer. That sounds real nice. With vitamin C and E frugal and book patchouli. I wonder if it's separated from setting around so long. No, it's not actually. And it looks like it might be a decent color for me. Ooh, that's actually a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be since it said serum. I thought it might be a little bit thin and watery, but that's actually giving pretty good coverage and it feels nice. Hmm, I might like that. All right, and now that is everything for bag number one. So let's go ahead and quickly move on to bag number two because we have 11 to go through. Go on, drop, buddy. All right, I'm kind of thinking we might go for this big one here. It seems real flat. Oh, it just all stuck down at the bottom. All right, let's see what we have here next. Oh, 
Ooh, something different. I don't think I've seen this bag before. It's snake skin or lizard. I don't know what kind of jungle creature this is supposed to be, but it looks very jungle creature-y. Snake skin, lizard skin, alligator, I don't really know. <laughs> That's a very fun color. I really am into this green. This is another pickle green shade thing. I'm really into this green right now. Let's see if it'll tell us when this is from January 2023. That was this year. Oh, cute. Okay, we're saving that for last. Let's go for this little guy here first. All right, this is from Wing Me. You can barely see it, but the name is up there, kind of embossed in. And this is the Little Liquid Liner. And it is pretty little. That's pretty small and thin. It looks like it might just be like in a black shade. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's just because, well, it's not been setting that long. Just like six-ish something months. Um, It is a little bit on the watery side. I didn't say anything about shaking it or anything. I don't hear one of those little jangly bits on the inside. But that did actually kind of help. Okay, so the second line is a bit more intense and black than the first line. The first line was a little bit watery. But it was also the first time it's ever been used after hanging out for like half a year. Let's go for this box. We have something from Fleur and B, which is a really cute name. This is a Nectar of the Sea. Oh, cute. I love a pun. So I'm guessing it is a vitamin C serum, but instead of like Nectar of the like the C as in water, it's like the C as in vitamin C. I could absolutely not be going for that, but that's what my brain went to. Is that a good boom, buddy? Ah, did you get a piece of it off? He had it for five seconds. No more going for buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little boy. No more going. I have to watch him like a hawk. He'll eat anything. He can chew through anything. No matter how tough the toy says it is, it, it won't stand a chance against Tater. This has 11 nourishing actives in it, including vitamin C, jojoba oil, and like a whole bunch of other fun stuff. It's supposed to go on your face after cleansing. I'm really excited to see what the bottle looks like. I feel like with a name like Fleur and B, like it, you should, the bottle should be cute. The bottle kind of is okay. So we have a little like kind of pink cap there with an amber bottle. The inside of it looks really milky, like a very milky serum. And it is for brightening and such. So let's see what the, oh dear, that poked me. Yep, that stabbed me just a little bit. Let's see what the next item is here. Oh, we have something from Tarte. This is an HO2 bomb and it is a Tarte of the Sea. Is this also a sea thing? Tarte Sea. An HO2 bomb sounds really nice. My lips have been kind of dehydrated and this color honestly looks really nice too. So let's get a swatch of this. Oh. Maybe I have changed my mind. It's in the shade Villa and it looks like kind of straight orange. <laughs> like this little picture here, it looks pretty nice, but then this looks very much so orange. Oh, but then that doesn't look orange. Tart, get your, get your pictures together. It actually looks a little bit on the brown side. Let's swatch it over here. Ooh, it is very brown, but I kind of like that shade. I like a really nice sheer lip product and that feels really good. So I think I'm gonna like this. Next up here, we have something else from Ahava. Again, it's a hand cream. Cause again, it, it always is. It's always a hand cream. Uh, this is a superfood kale and turmeric hand cream. And this one doesn't sound like it'll smell as good as the other ones. I think I might stick to that peppercorn and cactus thing. And finally, the last thing we saw in here, which is the first thing that I like peeked in and saw. It's so cute. We have something from Winky Lux. This is a latte kitten palette. It's little kittens and teacups. How precious is that? So cute. I really do like the packaging on this, like the gold with the pink and the tiny kittens. And then on the inside, a very lightly colored palette. Like a lot of these look on the lighter side. We have a little bit of purples in there with some neutral shades and uh, yeah it's definitely cute there's also a mirror but i just love those kittens Alrighty, bag number two down let's go ahead and move on to bag number three. Oh, okay we have another fuzzy bag here so i'm gonna assume yep january of 2023 we might see some similar stuff between those two bags i do love these fuzzy bags like i showed you guys i got one in my last unboxing i already used this one once to take my makeup with me in the car and my husband saw it and he was like i like that bag and i was like yeah i know right it's a good bag it looks like monsters ink all right so let's Let's go for the little bubble wrapped guy here first. This is from Oriza. It is a Nebula Shimmer Eyeshadow. We used to get these little palettes from them all the time. They put like a tiny quad in here. Very cute little palette. I'm sure, I'm sure I've received one before. All right, following that, I'm seeing a ton of in a little squeezy tube. This is from Pure Lease. It is the Perfect Glow BB Cream. Oh, it's a concealer too. I thought it was like an all over face kind of BB cream, but it's a concealer. Following that, we have a tiny little eyeliner. Okay, so this is from, oh, this is a tattoo liner from KVD Beauty. This used to be my absolute go-to eyeliner. I wouldn't wear anything besides the tattoo liner from KVD, which back in the day, it was from Kat Von D. Now it's at something different. It's not Kat Von D anymore. They just they just kept the KVD name. This is in the shade Trooper, which was my go-to color. It's just, it's black. It's just like a dark black, you know, black. Yeah. <laughs> and if the formula hasn't changed, this is a very good eyeliner. Alrighty, next up in here, there is a little bottle of clear liquid. Oh, it's a face toner. Okay, this is Truffle Therapy Face Toner, made in Italy. That all sounds 
very fancy truffle stuff I know is high dollar I don't know if there's actually like truffles in here I don't know there's a whole lot of words on here I don't see any of them that say truffle though maybe that's just the brand no skin and coroma is the brand <laughs> there have to be truffles in here why would you call it truffles if there's no truffles my eyes are starting to hurt from reading these tiny letters from what I can see there's no truffles in this but um let's smell it let's see if it smells like garlic because I think that's what truffles smell like no, it smells really pretty actually. Not that garlic doesn't smell pretty. I love garlic and I think it smells delicious. It smells like fazolis. All right, and this looks very familiar. I think we just got this. Is it what? It, yep, it's sitting right here. How convenient. So this is from NARS. It is the Dolce Vita Thingy Merbob Matte Lip Pencil. I'll show you guys one that I've already opened. Did I swatch it? I don't think I did swatch it. I figured that it would be a little bit too of an intense color for me. It is a little bit more like pink berry kind of reddish than I would typically go for. So um, unfortunately, I don't think I'll get use out of either of these, but I could pass them along or I can make up some um, bags to donate. We are three bags down, moving on to the fourth Ipsy bag here. We'll go for this little guy, but it feels like there's a bunch of stuff in it. You okay, little baby? You okay? Oh, these are so cute. These are very adorable little masks. So we have two sheet masks here on the outside of the bag and they are super cute. I don't like these little cartoons in the back of them though. Why are they kind of spooky looking? But the front of them are super cute. So we have one with like cactuses and like little beach stuff on it. And then we have a watermelon one. These are from Patchholic. We have an Aqua Plus soothing mask and an Aqua Plus moisturizing mask. So cute. Then we have another one of these little bags here. And um, I was corrected many, many times. We talked about this bag last. These are not palms, apparently. They are monstera leaves. So like this is a monstera leaf and so is that. What this little guy is here, I, I don't, a fern perhaps? I know not of plants. I know almost nothing about plants and that is why I have no real or alive ones. Even the ones outside are starting to suffer just a little bit. Man, this is just, this has come up a lot today. So uh, I just did another unboxing of this month's Boxy Charms, and we just got this, uh, just in a large size. And then we also got this in a small size from another Ipsy bag. So this is Origins Checks and Balances Face Wash, Frothy Face Wash. Ooh, that's cute packaging. I love cute packaging. And then we have another one of these. I feel like all of this is setting around me, probably within arm's reach. I just can't currently find it. This is from, I think, Jasmine Beauty. I'm really, really bad at cursive, but I, I think that's what that might say. Uh, this is a Lux Lash Mascara. Following that, we have a little squeezy tube in here. Oh, this is also from Oriza. Ooh, this is a glow up balm, but it's in the scent or the shade peach tea, and I love peaches. <gasps> it smells like peaches. Mm, like peach rings. There's just something about that artificial peach that's so good. I just, I love it. Anything like the gummies or like drinks, anything that has an artificial peach in it, I'm here for it. Oh, why did I just lick the wand? Why does it kind of burn? I did want to see if there was any type of like peach taste to it, but I didn't want to like go directly to the source. You know what I mean? That's probably not sanitary. I'm gonna wipe this off. Oh man, shucks. Uh, it definitely doesn't taste like peach, unfortunately. Maybe at some point it did. It kind of tastes not great. Yeah, definitely not a lot of peach flavor to it. I think there is a little bit of peach scent. So when I'm like inhaling that, it's making my brain think there's peach flavor, but like, not really. And then finally, last but not least, this little packaging is so cute too. This is an avocado superfood serum and I just really like those green little avocados on the pink box. I think it's just really cute. This is enriched with hyaluronic acid and avocado extract and it's supposed to be for hydration. Oh, that's a cute, oh. Has it become firm? I feel like I haven't seen a serum like that thick. You can kind of see where it's been upside down this whole time that it has separated from the bottom. Typically when I think of serum, I think of something pretty liquidy. This is very like firm. It's from the beauty crop and I do really like the little squeezy bottle on the top of it. I think that's a really nice color. That just smells like face lotion. How are you supposed to suck that up in there? I don't know if you guys can see the problem I'm facing here, but you like physically can't suck it up <laughs> into the little dispenser. Granted, this has hung out since August 2022. So, you know, things could have changed since then. <laughs> things could have solidified a little bit, uh, but right now I feel like that might be a little bit difficult to actually use. It's cute though. All right, floor down, we're on to bag number five. Not quite halfway there. Before we move on, I'd love to tell you about today's sponsor, Squarespace. I truly love working with and using Squarespace. It's been a few years now and the overall experience has been amazing. I personally use Squarespace for my businesses, Apparitions Vintage Village and Second and Main in Richmond, Kentucky, but the possibilities of Squarespace are endless. Squarespace offers so many cool and useful features. that will allow first time website builders or seasoned pros to create a website that'll help you stand out and succeed online. Their fluid engine design system is groundbreaking and allows for unlimited creativity. Starting from my website template, you can drag and drop elements on your site and customize 
customize every detail on both desktop and mobile. With the online store, you can sell your products, whether physical, digital, or service-based. And Squarespace will have all the tools you need to get started selling online through your website. And you can also drive sales and engage your audience with Squarespace email campaigns. You can easily collect email subscribers to gain connections and build repeat customers. And you can send out sales and promotions to help boost your business. So if you're looking for a way to create a unique online presence, boost your brand, or help run your business, Squarespace has you covered. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Alexandria Ryan for 10% off your first purchase of website or domain. And just thank you so very much to Squarespace for your continued support of the channel. It means the world to me. Sometimes they're extra sticky. Ooh, it's cheetah. All right, so you have a little brush here on the outside of the bag. I said this about those branded, branded, branded brushes. Why is that so hard to say? Branded brushes. Last time, but like the handles on them, they're like girthy. They're thick. Feels like I'm holding something substantial. It is a Firma 405. It has a nice little like angle to it, but it looks pretty fluffy. It's almost like a triangle. It's soft, soft. It's good. Okay, let's see what this is from. November 2022. That's when I got married. Okay, let's go for this little guy here first. Ooh, this is from Essentials Derma E. It's a microdermabrasion scrub. That might be nice for my like KP and stuff. Uh, I feel like I haven't really been treating it recently and it's getting worse on just one arm, which is interesting. I did see someone recently say that I should wake up and it should just be disappeared. Like it should just be gone at some point, which most of people who when they get to 30 who have KP, it does kind of just go Way. I'm 31 and I am still waiting. I feel like this is supposed to be probably for your face, but I'm gonna put it on my arms. All right, so we have another squeezy tube here. This is from, oh, Gold Fadden. I like Gold Fadden. It's a plant profusion supreme serum. <laughs> that sounds like something made up, does it not? A plant profusion supreme serum. I don't know, something about that sounds fictional. It is for uneven and dull skin tone. I mean, look at, look at this. Can you guys read that? It's so small. Or maybe I need bifocals. I don't, maybe that's what this is telling me. I have my contacts right now. Can you get bifocal contacts? All right, next we have a little box here. This is from Kinship. It is a super mellow. <laughs> that's kind of a cute name. A hydrating gel cream moisturizer. Oh lordy, it's just a tiny squeezy tube. Why go through like, the trouble of putting it in a box like this? This is for hydration and nourishment and uh, yeah, 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 mellow, mellowy. Okay, I was hoping it had something to do with marshmallows because I think that's fun. I know it's not like the marshmallows that you like roast over the fire and put on your s'more, but just marsh, it's fun. I don't know, can't explain it. There's marshmallow root in it, coconut water, hyaluronic acid. I'm sure it's, it's lovely. I'm sure it's real nice. And then it finally, last but not least, we have something from Formula. I don't think I've ever seen anything from this brand before. Oh, Formula Z. <laughs> that sounds like Plankton's Plan Z. <laughs> it's in the shade Class Act. And this, I'm a, ah, I pinched myself. Ouchie. This, I'm assuming, is a blush. It seems very blushy. It's a very pretty shade, super neutral. I could see myself getting some use out of that. I just think Formula Z, that's a fun name. Lots of fun stuff. Marshmallows, secret plots. All right, so bag number five down. We are moving on into this box. Let me see, let me reach around here. Oh, for this one here, kind of tucked away. Oh, and look at that. Wouldn't you know, it's more cheetah print. I'll see if there are any repeats in here so we can go ahead and pull those out. Oh, it smells good. I wonder if that means. This isn't a repeat, but I got excited. I love these little Juicy Couture candles. I think there's there's something about them that's so cute. They're so itty bitty. You could burn them for, I'm sure, like maybe two hours tops, but they smell really good and they just come in these cute little tins. And Juicy Couture reminds me of the early 2000s, which is always a good time. So yeah, I just really like these little candles. This one does smell really good but I see that the first note on here is red roses. I don't get red roses. Maybe it's covered up by the rest of it. Oh juicy peach. I feel like juicy peach is kind of like overriding the roses. I do think it smells really good. It could have a different hot throw than it does a cold throw though so it could smell more rosy once you actually light it but the little tins are just so cute and I think they're really precious. Oh I don't think we actually have any repeats so let me see here. What are we gonna pull out next? I'm seeing like one of the smallest little pots of anything I've ever seen in my life. Field trips. This might be a first for me. I don't think we've ever received anything from this brand before. It is also, I mean, this is a miniature, right? Like look how small it is. And then it's a hollow bottom like that. I mean, you're getting like two drops of product in here, but this is an overnight hydrating lip mask with Moringa butter. I don't know what that is. Oh wow. It's absolutely devoid of scent. Ooh, that feels really thick though. That feels like luxurious. It smells like nothing. Nope. Smells like Vaseline. Yep. All right. Next up after that, I think I see another black eyeliner. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. My fingernails are sticky again. They got all sorts of gunk on them from the packaging. 
this. Uh, Ipsy uses like the strongest glue to hold their little bags together. This is from Seraphine Cosmetics. It is a Luna liner. It's a water resistant eyeliner, I think in the shade black. Oh, is that the pistachio? Oh. Oh, it does. Okay, so this is from Pistache Body Care. And I was like, man, that's not pistachios. But then I read further and it is indeed pistachios. That's fun. I really like pistachios. So this might be interesting. Uh, it has pistachio oil. It is a pistachio body butter. So I wonder what this smells like. I hope it's green. Oh, it is slightly green. Ooh. Oh, I love how that smells. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay guys, so I was talking about uh, this pistachio little hand cream here, which I think smells excellent. And then um, my husband came home and I get embarrassed. So I stopped filming for a little while and then I made dinner and stuff. So now I'm looking a little worse for wear. We're picking up where we left off. All right, so I think this smells so good, but I feel like it could be one of those things, you know how like I think rose smells like absolutely disgusting and vile, but so many people think it's a beautiful scent. Well, like I feel like that could be the same, just like reverse for this. Like I think this smells so good, but I feel like some people would smell this and be like, oh my gosh, that's gross. I really like pistachios and I feel like this smells so nice. All right, let's go for the last thing in this bag here. And then we still have five more bags to go. So look at what we got, what we got. All right, we have a mascara here from It Cosmetics. This is the Lash Blowout Mascara. And I feel like I might like that. I feel like they're comparing it to a hair blowout, which makes your hair all big and poofy. And I like big and poofy lashes. So I feel like those things will go together. My light is moved. No wonder things look weird. Okay, no, that didn't work. I just threw my brush. I need something, I need like a stick, like a long stick. <laughs> Moving right along to our next bag here. Let's go for one of the big ones. Oh, it's another little snake skin. What is this supposed to be? Is this some type of like reptilian skin or like a really up close look at a plant? Like a microscope to zoomed in view of a plant? Ooh, looks like you have something fun in here, but I'm gonna go for the squeezy tube first just to get it out of the way. Kale and tumor can cream. Not only does that sound like far too healthy, but like how good does kale smell? Kale smell. Ooh, okay. Okay, next up here we have something from Gold Fadden. This is the Bright Eyes Dark Circle Cream Stuff. And I feel like if anything has ever helped my under eyes, it's been this. It's kind of expensive though, but I think it's really good. Following that, we have, what is this little skinny box here? All right, so we have the Pure Lace BB Concealer, but this time we just have a larger version of it. This is also in the shade Light, and it comes in a little squeezy tube as well. Just a little bit bigger than the last one. All right, see, following that, we have a Kaleido Cosmetics Skin Luminant. It looks like we might have three different colors of blushes here. It says there's a soft coral, a shimmery rose pink, and a silky peach. They're supposed to be universal coral shades, so let's see what these look like. Okay, yeah, I mean, those are very standard, very peachy. They look incredibly similar, especially like these two here. <laughs> they just look really, really similar. This right here almost looks a little bit like, you know, the only blush that NARS thinks exists, the NARS Orgasm blush. It looks kind of similar. It's got a little bit of that like golden shimmer to it, so uh, yeah. Yeah, blushes, that's nice. And then finally, last but not least, this is the first thing I saw in the bag and I thought it looked really fun. This is also from Half Caked. Oh man, okay. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something real interesting, uh, but this is the Star Bright Loose Setting Powder. So yeah, unfortunately, I think we're just gonna get like a translucent setting powder, but the packaging's really fun. All the little container is kind of fun too. And it comes with a powder puff, adorable. So the container has a little yellow lid and there's a powder puff. I think that's super cute. And it is just a translucent setting powder. Let's go back to one of the smaller bags here, see what it has to offer. Oh, another little fluffy bag. I really do like these fuzzy bags. I kind of it was larger this would definitely be my travel makeup bag if it was if it was bigger i just i love the fluffiness oh well okay this looks like a real fun one all right let's go for the tiny little squeezy tubes first first here from aether author beauty we have a desert rose lip and cheek stain so a liquid lip and cheek stain Ooh, it does look like a pretty color though oh wow i didn't expect it to be that pigmented to be honest hey taylor what you ripping up there bud what you got Tato. That is actually quite a bit more pigmented than I anticipated. It doesn't really feel oily. It does kind of just feel like a lip gloss. <laughs> I mean, a little bit on the sticky side to put on your cheeks. I'm sure once it's like blended into the skin, it might be okay, but it is, it is a tiny bit sticky. I see another little squeezy tube in here. This time it is from a Polar. It is a pure ice gentle scrub. Oh, that's familiar because again, it's around here. It's somewhere like right next to me. I saw it today. Look at that. So a repaint product from some point whenever we did this last unboxing. All right, following that, we have just another of the tiniest little squeezy tubes. Look 
in my ass. This is an It Cosmetics Hello Rescue uh, little thing you rob, and I know that because we've gotten one before. This is a wrinkle reduction daily retinol serum. And then next up, this is just what I assume to be another liquid liner because we've received so many of them. We're racking them up. Ooh, this one has cupcakes on it. I do like cupcakes. This is from Trifle Cosmetics. It is a lava liner. It says it's water resistant and I'm sure it's black because they all are. And then finally, last but not stuck in the plastic. Last but not least, we have another Oriza palette and this is the Nebula Shimmer Shadow just like we received before. So yeah, there we go. All right, so this bag definitely had a lot of repeats in it. Some of it was from this unboxing and some of it was from the first unboxing because we did do at least one of these in the first one. So that was a quite repetitive little bag, but I do love the fuzzy. All right, we just have two bags left here and then we have our Relic of Time past also to go through. So it's either the small bag or the big bag. I think I'm gonna go for the small bag, say the big bag for the second to last next to last. And then look at that. We are repeating what we got in the first bag. It feels like there's actually nothing in here. Okay, so there is a brush in the outer packaging. And those two little rhinestones tell me that this is from SL Miss Glam. I'll be fully honest, when I first saw this brush, like the little unicorn handle and the kind of like barely dyed tips, um, it looks a lot like brushes you can get on Amazon and those kind of places for incredibly cheap. I don't want to say that that's where these are coming from or anything. But this could be some type of like private label thing. I personally myself, back in the day, I did purchase like a unicorn set of brushes for dollars, like 20 brushes for like five bucks. But this is a flat blush brush and oh, it's kind of interestingly shaped. So like this part is kind of like got a little haircut on this side. It's a little bit flat. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have a brush shape like this and it is really soft. So that's nice and it, it's pretty cute. Oh, it matches this bag so well. All right, as far as what's actually in here, it feels just like a bag of little tiny squeezy tubes. Is it? Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then just one thing that isn't. So here, <laughs> the one thing that isn't a squeezy tube is a mascara from N2U NYC. It just looks like a little guy. It doesn't say if it's volumizing, lengthening, anything like that, uh, but it's black. Very exciting. Okay. Okay, now let's move on into just our bag of cream. First from First Aid Beauty, we have an Ultra Repair Firming Cream. Oh, excuse me, Firming Collagen Cream. Then we have, oh, there's a little like hidden face on it. Then we have a One Kind Clean Slate Gentle Cleansing Foam. And then we do have another repeat from the last video. This is the Tea Time Rose something, Rose Tea Eye Cream. And I determined that it didn't smell too much like rose for it to be gross. Does this one smell more like rose? I can't breathe. <laughs> Who knows? My sniffers are not sniffing correctly. All right, you guys, that brings us to our last bag in the Ipsy box. I honestly can't believe we've gone through all the Ipsies in this room. We obviously haven't gone through all of them in the closet. Those are to come, but uh, let's go ahead and see what's in here. Oh, that's really heavy. Ooh, it's another little snakeskin one, but there's also a palette. Exciting. I remember you. <laughs> This is the palette that I'm thinking of. I may, I remember making fun of this palette. I do, I just, sorry palette, sorry Barbarella, but I do remember making fun of this palette. So when you're looking at it, you're like, oh wow, look at the neon lettering, those bright kind of purpley pink eyelashes. Like this is probably gonna be a pretty exciting palette with some really interesting colors on the inside, right? I really hope I'm remembering this correctly. I'll feel silly if it's not the palette that I'm thinking of. All right, so just remember the front of the palette, take it in, and then are you ready? What is that? Half of these colors are the same shade of cream. And then you have just like one bright blue. Like, I mean, what? They're all also named after like different like dudes. They're just all guy names. We got Hugh, Brad, Oliver, Jason, Dean, Johnny, Jared, Nick, Mo, And they're all just vanilla as can be. I guess maybe this is like whoever created this palette, meant perhaps Barbarella. She's like, I'm fun. I'm neon, hot pink, and purple. I'm fun. And all these guys are vanilla and boring besides Damie. These shades are just so lackluster, especially this corner right here. Like, look, look at these. Those are basically all the same. We do have some a little bit more interesting shades, like Dean. This is kind of foresty green, which I like, but like, holy cow. The juxtaposition between the front lettering and this is, is so funny to me. Okay, I digress. I, I've given Barbarella a hard enough time. Let's go ahead and here and get out our last little snake skin or like very up close microscopic like view of plant cells. I'm gonna pull out any repeats that I see here because I do think I am seeing at least one. We have another loose setting powder here, the Star Bright Half Cake Loose Setting Powder in the cutest little box. We have a, another kind of smushed wing me little liquid liner in the shame, 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 shame. Sh same black shade. Following that, we have another Tarte C thing here. Oh, this is in a different shade though. It's in Just Breathe. Just Breathe. 
This one looks like a very kind of light pink. I feel like I kind of like the other shade better. This one might just be a little too of the standard like petally pink for me. Oh, and then finally from Carez, we have a body milk. Oh, it's in lavender blossom. I bet that smells really nice. This is a really nice size of it, and Chris is a good brand. And yeah, you can detect like a little bit of lavender even through the safety seal, and uh, this is, I'm sure this is lovely. Body Milk, I think, is a really gross name. I, I stand by that. I think Body Milk sounds terrible, but um, I'm, I'm sure it's really nice. So that was our 10th Ipsy bag, and we completed the entire box. Sorry, those last few were like really quickly run through, but we did have a fair amount of repeats and stuff. But what I don't think we're gonna get repeats in is this bag right here. This Ipsy bag hasn't seen the light of day for years. We have unearthed it. This is a piece of Ipsy history and now it's time to get on into it and, and see what we got. I think I actually remember this bag. The little corduroy bag. Mustard yellow on one side and maroon on the other. I definitely remember this bag. I have no recollection of what year it's from but let's go ahead and open it up and see. <laughs> it's from September 2020. <laughs> It's almost three years old. This is the very end of June, so July, August, sept this is an almost three years old. It's like two years and nearly 10 months old. Wow, what little time capsule you'll be. Already, I feel like I'm seeing a difference in Ipsy bags here because we have like makeup in this bag. There's bubble wrap things. There's like multiple little boxes. Not a squeezy tube in sight. I'm gonna go ahead first for this little guy here. This is from M-A-E-L-L-E, Ma-E-L-E, Ma-E-L-E. And this is clearly brilliant tinted lips. It's in the shade Berry. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch everything out of this bag because like what else am I gonna do with it? It's three years old. Oh, I kind of like this color. It is very pink. It is very berry, but it's so sheer. But I feel like if it was very lightly applied, it would look really natural on the lips. Just kind of like a nice pinky dewy lip. Next up, I don't even know what little box to go for. Oh, okay, this is, we all, okay. <laughs> this one was in disguise. So we're gonna go for this one. Uh, next here we have the Professional Hydrate Primer. And I thought this was like a little eyeshadow palette or something. Something. But no, it is a squeezy tube in disguise. This is the hydrating version of the Benefit Professional. She's got two different colored ponytails. She has a redhead in this one. She's blonde in this one. All right, next up, let's go for this little guy here. This is from PYT. It is a day to night cool eyeshadow palette. So I'm guessing all the tones in here are cool tones. Okay, yeah, so they are. It's just a little quad. These are actually pretty cute and they are very cool tones. So they don't have like a ton of warmth to them. I mean, yeah, obviously that's that's kind of what cool tone means, I think. Ooh, they're still Still like really silky smooth even after nearly three years. Little swatch there for you guys. Ooh, that one has a lot of pigment to it. They're a little bit on the powdery side, but especially these shimmers here, they have a good amount of pigment to them. The mattes are very powdery, but they are super, super soft and smooth. And then from Real Her, this is the Confidence in My Glow. I'm gonna assume it is a highlighter. Yes, it is a highlighter. It says it many times on the packaging. I like the little packaging. It's meant to look like marble. It honestly kind of looks like my countertop. So yeah, I, I like it. So you have the little pan of highlight in there and I think this is a nice highlight shade. It kind of encapsulates like a bunch of different colors so it's a little peachy, it's a little champagne-y, a little bit gold, a little icy. Ooh, I do like it though. I think that's really pretty. It has a nice glow to it. It's really not like glittery chunky at all. But I do like that. It definitely is on a little bit more like the peachy golden side now that I've swatched it but uh, yeah I think it's pretty. All right and then last but not least we have a little palette in here. This is from <gasps> Wait a second, is this what I think it is? This is from Pacifica, it is the Desert Sunset Matte Blush and Bronzer. I had a little duo from Pacifica and I loved it. I used every single ounce of it. I'm wondering if it's the same one. Oh, it's in the same packaging. Oh, is it? I don't know, maybe not. It looks so much like this though. Now I can't remember if it was a highlight and a blush or a blush and a, a bronzer like this, but I do really like these shades and it's the same packaging. <laughs> I just can't remember what was like actually inside of it. Oh, and it has a little mirror on the back, which I think it's cute. I do like this blush shade. It's very on the peachy side as well. So there are the two swatches. It is kind of a lighter bronzer and that peach shade is really nice. Um, It is kind of pigmented and I can't, I really cannot remember if that is the one that I use, but I feel maybe, maybe it's not. It just looks so super similar to it. Why you guys, this is what I'm talking about. Like the difference of Ipsy of the past and Ipsy now is kind of like evident right here because I used to get Ipsy's and then I would take all three of my bags into a full face with them, but that became like not possible to do anymore. We were barely getting any makeup. Everything was really small and everything was really exciting and I couldn't do full faces anymore at the end of like my Ipsy showdowns and stuff. And as that was happening, the bags just kept increasing in price. So this bag here from three years ago should have been $12, but now we're looking at like $15 for bags. I think even $16 once you add in the shipping handling dollar. But here we have a bag that comes with a primer. So like kind of a 
base product, not the most exciting thing, but a primer. And then we have an eyeshadow palette, a highlight, a blush, and a bronzer, and then a lip product. So like right here in one bag, I would have a lot of the products I would need to do a full face, but I feel like that's just like not possible anymore. To me, this is a bag that is absolutely worth $12, but Ipsy, like in the past few years, has just gone downhill so much where I don't think the base bag is worth the price that they charge you anymore. <sighs> All right, you guys, that was a long one. There's no chance that I haven't been filming for maybe like three hours. It's been a long time. Well, I mean, okay, total altogether, probably three hours, but I started filming way earlier in the day. Uh, so this has definitely been a long one. Thank you guys for sticking through it with me if you've made it here to the end. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions about everything down below in the comments. I'm sure that we'll be getting into the subscription box closet soon. I do have a lot more boxes saved up that I could do unhinged unboxings of. These videos just really help me clear through everything that's in the filming room right now. So let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you thought about this one. Do you think Ipsy has changed over the years? Do you think that this bag here that is nearly three years old has kind of proven that Ipsy has changed over the years. I'd love to know all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Just thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you wouldn't mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>